Hey guys, Ryan Martian here, and today I'm going to be discussing the very underrated Paul Thomas Anderson film, Punch Drunk Love. More specifically, the way color and light is used in this film as a visual metaphor for Barry and Lena's relationship. The film received mostly mixed reviews upon its release, and it currently has a rating of 7.3 on IMDb, along with a 78 Metacritic score. While these are not terrible scores at all, I personally believe it is one of Anderson's better and most important films in several ways. It was a transitional film that segued from his larger Altman-esque ensemble films, Boogie Nights and Magnolia, and into his later character studies with There Will Be Blood and The Master. Most importantly, I believe it was his most mature and original film up till that point, and when he finally found his true artistic voice and vision. Don't get me wrong, I love both Boogie Nights and Magnolia, and for the most part, they do feel like P.T. Anderson films. However, at the same time, you can practically smell his cinematic hero's influences from a mile away. As always, there are major spoilers ahead, but I always want to give you guys a fair warning. You have been warned. Color and light play very important roles as well as visual devices throughout this film in regards to Barry and Lena's characters and their budding relationship. Red and blue complement each other pretty much perfectly, not only on the color scheme, but also as their traditional associations with the male and female genders, so it's no accident that these specific colors were used. Also light, whether natural or man-made, is always prominent throughout the film, and this is also no accident. At the beginning of the film when Barry exits the garage to look at the harmonium on the sidewalk, the sun is shining onto his face. A few seconds later, Lena pulls up past the harmonium in her car and drives towards Barry. It's important to note that even though it's a bright sunny day, her headlights are on and they're facing right at Barry. As Lena turns off the lights and gets out of the car, the camera immediately pans slightly to the right and the sun is now occupying the frame. One light source has been replaced with another. Barry cowers back into the garage and Lena, with the sun behind her, starts running towards him. She coaxes him back and when the characters meet, not only are they wearing their respective red and blue, the sun is shining down from behind Lena directly onto Barry. During this entire sequence, Lena, as well as the light, are already practically begging to lead Barry towards a better life and out of his neurotic shell. It's also important to note that the lens flare in the middle of the screen has Barry's blue directed towards Lena and conversely, Lena's red towards Barry. Later during their dinner date, Barry is dressed in his usual blue suit and Lena is once again wearing red. At first, Anderson shoots them each within their own frame from behind, but soon he uses a wide angle shot of the table and they are now occupying the same frame with each other. The light above them is shining down on the middle of the table, inviting and imploring them to come closer, and throughout the scene, the characters themselves, as well as the camera, via a slow zoom, do come closer and closer. At the same time, in the window above the door to the restaurant, we see flashes of light, in this case car headlights, zoom past. Barry is about to have another one of his meltdowns, and the lights are trying to guide him away from the aftermath, because there is still plenty of light ahead of them on their path outside of the restaurant. And wouldn't you know it, when Barry and Lena leave the restaurant, a tractor trailer is reflecting light right down on them along with a perfectly placed red stop sign metaphorically urging Barry to stop losing his temper. The scene closes with Barry and Lena walking towards his car, and the colors of the car dealership in front of them are bathed in blue and red. Symbolically, they are slowly becoming one. Back at Lena's apartment, she casually says, if you're going to be in Hawaii, Barry shrugs it off and gives her a kiss on the cheek and shakes her hand goodbye. As he leaves, the exit signs above him are blue, as opposed to the normal red. Barry is once again going down an all-too-familiar and beaten path. At the same time, the red fire hose in the hallway is facing directly at Lena's door, because that is where Barry should still be. Down in the lobby, the clerk tells Barry he has a phone call. On the right-hand side of the screen, there is a faint light. Barry finds out it's Lena on the phone, and she says she wanted to kiss him. As the scene unfolds, Anderson uses a slow zoom, and the light becomes brighter, and brighter, and even brighter. During Barry's frantic retreat back to Lena's apartment, he accidentally opens a fire exit at one point, and the color of the garage is blue. Even though the alarm is, in and of itself, enough of an indication, the blue color once again reinforces he was about to take the wrong path. 
When he finally reaches her apartment and she opens the door, there is a light welcoming him back and they kiss for the first time. After Barry's confrontation with the brothers and a phone call from his sister about the broken windows, he decides it's time to cash in the pudding so he can take a trip to Hawaii to see Lena. Even though it will take six to eight weeks to process, he decides to leave immediately, and as he runs out the garage door, a red tractor trailer driving past greets him as he starts his journey, along with the best use of Harry Nielsen's He Needs Me since the original film. We cut to a shot of Barry briskly walking down an airport hallway, and the ticket takers at the opposite end are both wearing red suit tops. We follow him around the corner, and what is arguably one of the prettiest and most composed shots of the film occurs. Barry is literally walking towards the light at this point. Anderson implements a few seconds of slow motion to further reinforce this device, and it's perfectly executed. After the flight, he exits the airport and the Hawaiian sun completely envelops him. He has a giant grin on his face, and it's possibly the first time we've seen Barry actually happy. Next we see Barry calling his sister from a payphone in order to find out where Lena is staying. The dancers in the parade are wearing red, and the panel on the payphone is blue. She starts to tease him, and Barry has had enough. He threatens to kill her, but at the same time, this is important, because he is finally asserting himself to the sister who has tormented him for his entire life. He calls the hotel, and after a quick comedic beat where the clerk connects him to the wrong room, Lena picks up. As soon as she does this, the light on the phone turns on, and as an extra little touch, the crowd watching the parade goes wild. A short time later, they meet up at the hotel, and Lena is wearing all white at this point. She has literally become the light that was guiding Barry this entire time. Barry approaches with an awkward handshake, but Lena goes right in for another kiss, and they embrace each other as the rest of the world passes them by. A few seconds later, we are rewarded with what is arguably the prettiest and most perfectly composed shot of the entire film. As always guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like or subscribe. Thanks again.